Yo, what is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today we are back on JP and I'm going to be showcasing... Uh, I don't really want to say it's a showcase because it kind of is. It's more of a showcase of a team but specifically we're going to be looking at Red Eskinor. I've never actually done a showcase for the Eskinors just because, you know, they're popular. Everyone knows what they do and stuff. But I really wanted to showcase my version of Mono Red. Let's quickly uh, just uh, go over his skills. So skill 1, 180% single target, deals uh, amplification, so each buff he has stacked on him, that's an extra 30% damage. Rank 2, 270%, rank 3, 450%, very, very, very powerful card. Skill 2, 150% AoE, rank 2, 150% AoE, reduce uh, 1 gauge, so because it's AoE it will reduce everyone's gauge. Rank 3, 250%, reduces 3 ultimate gauge. To all units which is a uh, pretty damn good ultimate uh, punishment uh, 1260 percent single target of course with fate link merlin it's 1440 percent incredibly uh, destructive uh, ultimate probably the strongest thing no it's by far the strongest uh, single target ultimate if you're not counting the ultimates from the demon meliodas that deal with weak point uh, his passive for the first three turns of the fight, increase this unit's HP related stats by 50%. He's virtually unkillable unless you strip his buffs. If you don't strip his buffs or petrify him or anything like that, he's technically unkillable. You cannot kill Eskinor in the first three turns. Even when I use my Lost Vein Meliodas ultimate against this dude in the first three turns, he doesn't die because he just has way too much HP. Pretty much unkillable the first three turns. And uh, that's pretty much it for Eskinor. Now, obviously, he is red. And his best team is obviously going to be Mono Red. Of course, it's going to be Mono Red. There's nothing else. Well, actually, there's other teams you can use with him, but Mono Red is the best. But I went for a specific type. I went for the pure kill or be killed Mono Red. We, we even have Hauser in the back, right, to boost up Arthur and Eskinor's uh, stats. The smart thing would be to run Red King, but Red King, that's not true Mono Red. That's more of a cautious, you know. Th this team is do or die. So I plan to use it in a do or die situation. 123.3k CP, that is incredible for a team. Uh, look at these HP stats because of the uh, the 3.5 million uh, box CP buff that I have that I got recently. HP stats are incredible. Thinking, should I use um, HP food? Uh, I think I will use HP food, yeah, because I'm out of attack food and I'm not bothered to go cook more. <laughs> yeah we'll use hp food just to survive that extra bit longer obviously i do have the hp title where i get two percent extra hp 130k cp boys look at this and when we go in game arthur and Eskinors is going to be much higher galthus is going to stay the same unfortunately if i wanted to get more hp on galthus i'd have to put red green more but i do want the extra attack and defense on uh, Eskinor and um, arthur obviously this team is going to be easy to use pray to god that we get a rank 3 turn 1 we get rank 3 turn 1 we insta win the game instant win the game doesn't matter what team who we're facing it's just an instant win that's how powerful this team can be i think it's like the most destruct uh, the quite literally the most powerful team if the cards are given to you correctly right this team beats any team if it gets the uh, the turn 1 buff any team i don't care what you're running this team will beat it if they get that turn 1 buff let's uh, let's go into pvp see how uh, our luck fares with the luck of pulling you know the fucking turn one buff uh, let's see what happens game number one what do we have a loss of a meliodas team not good not good ew let me change up the camera man because uh i was trying this but yeah I, don't, I do not like this um you know what i'm actually gonna play it safe Wait, that's a fucking red Merlin? That's a big yikes. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna just play it passive for this first turn. And it does not pay off. Fuck. Well, as long as Eskinor isn't frozen. Oh, he's just. If the Merlin freezes Eskinor, I'm gonna be upset. Yep. Uh, I do not want to touch Meliodas, man. I really don't, but I'm kind of forced into it right now. Well, actually... 
Yeah, that's the smart choice. That is the smarter choice, and we do get the buff. Okay, okay, okay. Thank God for that. Please, just let me survive. Let me, let me get the buff off, please. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yes. Yes, Merlin, you dumb bitch. Okay, 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 okay. That's Pop Champ. At this point, Gauth is useless to us. After this, he has no use now. He can die. Hopefully, Merlin, Merlin targets him. To be fair, she can target the other two. She's not going to kill them. That's fine. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, no more Eskimo cards. Fuck. I'm going to one-tap that fucking... Lost Fate Meliodas with uh, Eskimo's ultimate, and then I'm going to destroy the Merlin. Or oh, wait, do I destroy the king? Because he is blue, and on JP, virtually everyone has 6-6 six, six blue king, and that can still hurt me. Wow, he survives. He survives. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, at this point, we just um, destroy. There's nothing else to it, we just absolutely destroy. Two star, one star, and ultimate. If we don't kill, well, no, of course we will. This is buffed Eskimo, dude. No way. No one survives. Literally, buffed up Eskimo, red Eskimo, you, you just don't survive that, dude. You just do not survive. 152k type disadvantage. Huh. <laughs> That's crazy. Derriere, I have a bullet for you, girl. I am not letting her survive. It's happened to me enough times where I've let her live and it's just come back to bite me, so I'm definitely gonna have to kill her. Doesn't work. Your debuff is negated. Okay, okay, okay. Um, We do this, we do that, and just AoE for the sake of it. Yeah, man, this team, If obviously, if you don't get the RNG, you're in a super bad spot. Ooh, thick Arthur. Thick Eskinor. Yeah, like I said, if you don't get the RNG with this team, then you are pretty screwed, kind of, because then you just have to buff Eskinor and use whatever cards you have. But, boy, you get the RNG on your side, and this team is, oof. It is something different, man. It is a different level of scary. Because the way the whole team works is just so like, oh, it works so well if, if, if the RNG smiles upon you, you know? PogChamp, let's, um, let's go to our next game. Okay, next game we have, what the heck is this? Again? Yeah, you know what, we're not even going to wait. We are not even going to wait. It's a real player, so let me just destroy him. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. That's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, he saw that damage. He was like, nah, bro. Two level one cards. You almost kill me. Nah, I'm out. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Let's go to our next game. Next game. Uh, someone from, uh, hopefully it's their bot. No, it's actually them. Okay. That is pretty interesting. I am very scared to, uh... I am very scared to use this AoE. Fuck it, we'll just use it. Just because all my units are red. That same advantage. Ah, oh, we crit him. Fuck. Please, game. Please. N Dude. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> the shaft was real on that one. Oh, he's got. A he's got. A yeah, he's got me by the balls. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Um. Yeah. <sighs> one different placement. On that rank up, if it doesn't fuse, yeah, I'm never making that mistake again. But we have uh, definitely uh, lost this game. 
This king's obviously gonna be 6-6. Six, six. That dude's from uh, four archangels. Yeah, 6-6. Six, six. I mean, uh, should we even bother? I guess we can. Nah, no, we're still gonna die because he's just gonna follow up with um, Meliodas AoE and then we are dead. It's just because at this point in the game, King's um, King's ultimate is just too powerful now. Yeah, he ults, follows up with the AoE. Yeah, we, we don't survive this. Yeah, unfortunate, man. Now the single target kills off Eskinor. Oh, unlucky man. Yeah, there is really not much I could do about that one. We are gonna have to sadly uh, give it up, but fair play to him. No, uh, no complaints there. Let's carry on to our next game. Okay. Is that red derriere? Uh, green, I mean. Yeah, it's green. Once again, man. Once again, we get uh, cucked by the RNG. It's, fuck it. I swear to God, if 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 the rank up fuses again, I'm gonna be furious. We didn't crit. Uh, okay. Yes. 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 However, I won't be saying yes if he are oh, okay, that's fine. If he's smart, he petrifies the Arthur, not the Eskimo. Is he Um I expected a better play from him to be completely honest. Like Dude I mean the other the other guy didn't one shot me. This guy's certainly not gonna one shot me. Okay. Now one more Eskinor card and we can... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now we can choose who to kill. We, we literally can just choose who we want to kill. We're, we're full HP. He didn't attack us once. My Eskinor still has his buff. Can't be debuffed. So... My Eskinor is going to go back to full HP. Because he's going to have, uh, you know, 50% extra life still. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Kill the Gauther if anything, dude. Damn it. Okay, um uh, let's do this. No 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 no. How do I want to play this? This that and Arthur. Yeah. Colum yeah, yeah yeah okay good play, good play. He does not survive. Guess I could have used the AoE, but yeah man, you see. Against the best unit in the game, even he just <laughs> He just uh, suffers under the might of Mono Red. Oh, oh, shit got serious. One of those greens is dead. That's what I mean, man. If you can get that combo with this team, you cannot lose, dude. You just cannot lose. Yes, reduce his gauge. And then let me get another Eskimo card. Heals up for what? She's still gonna die, bro. Oh my, now the uh, the RNG gods have spoken. I'll, I'll just hit him with that AoE, just, just, just for the damage. Oh, okay, okay, I'm stupid. I really should have uh, used the AoE before the second attack. That's a stupid play by me. I should have expected to kill her with uh, level 2. Yeah, we could have toasted that Merlin, man. Now, he reduces my gate. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough to him. <laughs> 31 points. Thank you very much, bro. Alright, let's go to our next game. Okay, boys. Next game, we have Fraudrin. Dude. What are you doing? This is not a team that needs gauge. You funny fucker. <laughs> you funny fucker. 129 CC though, not too bad, but why, why is he using Slater? Like, please. Where is the sense in that, dude? 
I just don't see it. You're meant to use a taunting unit to make sure what I'm about to do doesn't happen. Which is going to happen. I'm going to one-shot your Meliodas. I'm going to double rank up Escanor and I'm going to one-shot the Meliodas. Slader getting his... Like, who cares, dude? No damage. <laughs> no damage. Yeah, man, this guy messed up his uh, team selection. Big time. But yeah. Nice one, bro. Now, uh, let me uh, one-tap your uh, Meliodas. Check this, guys. Nothing, nothing in this game survives this. Escanor with all buffs. Oh my f oh, no, he denied me the opportunity. Oh fuck's sake, man. Another 31 points. Boys, we are slaying some killers right now. <laughs> we are slaying some serious killers, dude. Jesus. Let's uh, let's keep going. Alright, boys, next game. Esther Rosa. Ah, Esther Rosa does not want this smoke. Okay. How do I want to play this? Since there's not too much danger here, I think we'll just waste our cards. Yeah. Those two can get attack debuff, that's fine. Doesn't really affect me. Son of a bitch, ah, but, but Escanor is uh, going to be super thick. Taunt Esterosa, I dare you. Put up your full counter, I triple dare you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm scared about what I'm about to do, because if King can get a Petrified, then it ruins what I'm about to do. But... <coughs> I'm trying so hard to hold this coffin. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, say cheese, Esther Rosa. You're stupid, man. The only the only person who survives a level three Eskinor attack is an Eskinor himself. Like, literally. Don't picture fight me. Okay, he doesn't have a pitch fire. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, to prevent overkill, I'm gonna use the two star on Merlin. Use the AoE just in case we kill her, and then we'll use the other two star on uh, Merlin again. Just in case we don't kill. Oh, we absolutely clutter her. Jesus Christ. She got schlocked. Such power. Target the other Eskimo. Yes. This dude is inhuman, man. When his shit, like, runs, like, when he starts going, he is inhuman. Absolutely inhuman. This was a very clean showcase so far, man. I, I'm, it's going well, man. And it's not like global where I face bots only. I, th I think I faced only uh, two bots so far. And the real players that I face, they've been top tier players who are very high ranked because when we're beating them, we're getting double the points we normally get for winning. So that's a very good sign. We're not just beating, you know, some schmucks from Champion 5. We're beating like top 100 players. Pog champ. Let's keep going, man. All right, boys, next game. Oh, yes. Oh yes, real player as well. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Your boy is gonna enjoy this one. You get that turn one level three buff versus a real player. You just you know that they know that they're fucking dead. Uh, what's the what's the term? Oh my wa mo shinderu. That's exactly. Oh look look look. What's it? What's he doing? What's he doing? Are you fucking stupid? Dude, you are dead. You are finished. And even if you aren't finished, I reduce your gauge. Now what? Oof, oof. Wait, hold up. He legit might survive. No cap. No cap, he might survive. Arthur. <gasps> he survived, but guess what? I'm not worried. 
Guess what, mate? I'm not worried. Yeah. He might heal back to full HP. Oh, no, actually, I am worried. If he's smart, he uses both of them, gets back to full HP, and then I'm fucked. Or is he going to heal up? How much does this heal? Oh, bad choice, bro. Bad, bad choice. Why would he reduce my gauge? I do not have the ultimate in hand. He severely misplayed there. That was a huge, huge, huge misplay. What he should have done is attacked with his Meliodas. Got all of his life back because at that point I can't kill him again. Oh, he's blast through him this time. Yeah, that's what he should have done. He uh, misplayed. He could have easily put me in a very bad situation. But I guess, like... Because he doesn't know what cards I have in my hand. Maybe that made him think twice. Can we get a rank up, please? Fuck. No rank up. Never mind, though. Because he can't debuff me this turn. What I'm going to do, if he removes my gauge once again, I'm going to use the buff, attack the Merlin, and reduce gauge. He's going to reduce gauge by 3. Interesting, interesting. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine by me. Now, rank up. Rank up. Rank up. Fuck. Um... Yeah, we'll do this. He's found himself in a really good position here. Not gonna lie. But... Mm, I think we could still uh, grind it out. He, I know he does have a, uh, uh, what you call it? What's it called? He does have a tax seal in his bag right now because he hasn't used any, and he is gonna attack seal us. Ooh, actually, things have taken a, things have taken a turn. He's gonna level three seal me. Good choice by him. Reduces my gauge once again. Okay, now I'm uh, a bit concerned for sure. Because uh, I don't survive these next two ultimates. Like one after the other. I just, quite simply, I just don't survive it. I die. Interesting. Uh, very good plays from him. Uh, I do think he did misplay with uh, Meliodas. Wow, that's a cuck. I think, yeah, I think he did misplay with Meliodas. But after Meliodas died, he did get some pretty sweet top decks. So I'll take that on this one. That's fine. That's uh, that's that's perfectly fine. I did say this team is uh like near enough under in the like you can't beat it if they get level three buff. But obviously shit can go wrong. Eskimo's still alive. Is she six six? Mm -hmm. It's butt clenching tight right now. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He, um... What's the best thing to do here? I think this is the best choice right now. Just because, um... Arthur's so close to death. If I can just get some lifesteal back. Damn, no crits from Arthur. Feels bad, man. That's Merlin. Double remove gauge, back to back. Interesting. Oh yeah, he's got me with that one. Mmm, this is butt clenching. Uh, yeah, man. I think we do have to do that. Obviously, when he doesn't have buffs, uh, there's going to be a big discrepancy in his damage. That's perfectly fine. No, that's normal for a unit who um, scales off... Uh, what's it called again? How many times is he going to reduce my gauge? That's incredible. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Um... Okay, he fused into something. Chances are he is going to reduce my gauge once again. How can I play this? 
Uh, there's no way I can play around this. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to do this because we can't attack. No way is that a level 3. It's a level 2. Fair play to him. He's actually uh, just grinded us out here. We're going to do this. Hopefully. No. That's incredible. Yeah, uh, I hate to be that guy. I hate to be that guy because it's not my style, but holy fuck, he had incredible RNG. Holy fuck. Like, uh, I have to say it because, like, you, you guys have seen this, right? He, like, yeah. <laughs> That's fine, though. We lost, but dudes, that RNG is different level, man. Every turn, he was reducing, like, he, just, he gave me no chance. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Let's go to our next game. Alright guys, final game. We have version of Meliodas team, fair enough. Ouch. That's no bueno. Uh but yeah man, regarding the last game, that was a uh, pretty damn unfortunate. Not too much I could have done about it. Cause like I mean it's fine. I I know I did say that this team is basically unbeatable, blah blah blah. I want to get a three-star buff, but it's not impossible right like you guys saw i got out grinded he just uh he just out grinded me as like super hard and dare i say it, like obviously my rng wasn't the best and his rng was you know it was pretty questionable but uh aside from that yeah man really hard to beat this team you really have to grind the fuck out of them in order to uh to beat them so perfectly understandable all right this meliodas has to go We're gonna buff the uh, rank up the Eskinor, buff him, and one tap. Heck, if he doesn't one tap, I'll be shocked. Yeah, of course he does. Reliably, if I do say so myself. But yeah, man, very destructive team. Ooh. Ooh. Petrify my uh, Eskinor, because you know he has buffs, and you know that's what you like to do as a as a robot they program you to uh, debuff units who have buffs so you can remove them nice bait now um what can we do from here that's a level three buff i think we can kill the merlin maybe hopefully <laughs> level three that's a th we are missing one buff because we lost our uh, passive Oh, okay, close enough. She did have a cube, and we are missing uh, one, one, um, what's it called again? One buff stack from uh, Eskinor's passive, so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, he heals up as well, what a bastard. Okay, and then with the death, death of Galtha, clean up three cards, draw two more. Ooh. Interesting. This is definitely going to be an Eskinor carry job, for sure. <laughs> We're just going to ride uh, on Eskinor. Actually, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hmm. Charge on the fire. Pretty cool card. Bam, bam. See them. No healing. Okay. GG. But yeah, man, really fun team. If you can deal with uh, RNG uh, messing you up sometimes, costing you games, then you really should try this team. On Global, you guys are going to love this. I know Global, they love the um, they love the, uh, the Arthur-Galtha combo. So when this eventually comes to Global, they're going to love it. Escanor is, uh, when buffed, he's on crack. Absolute crack. He's a uh, Superman. He literally does feel like Eskinor from the anime when you have buffs on him. He's just inhuman, man. Inhuman. Good shit, Eskinor. 153 type disadvantage. It's just what he does, you know. It's just what he does. And he's also a coin shop unit, so uh, pretty easy to get your hands on him. Let's go back to the menu.
all right guys so we only lost uh, two games with this team one of them we were just uh, you know outsmarted by the other player he, uh, he he did what he had to do and the second one uh, dare I say it was a kind of a bullshit loss like uh, I don't really make too many excuses but like when I'm getting level 3 alt gauge down every turn and stuff like that it, it does get pretty frustrating but nonetheless very good team very enjoyable obviously running it the pure way we didn't face any pierce teams any pen teams so running Hauser was actually uh, the smart choice but uh, yeah guys if you haven't tried this team out already I don't know what planet you're on if you play JP and you haven't tried this but definitely give it a try it's so fun and uh, yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the showcase we beat some very strong players and uh, yeah subscribe to my channel for more JP and global whale content and I'll see you guys next time take care